What's up, Star Wars fans? We have another exclusive Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We have IG-11. This figure is exclusive to Best Buy in the USA and has yet to have a outlet here in Australia. So I've had to source this from, from international areas. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to say it. Um, and probably one of the, it, despite it being cool, um, it is slightly disappointing in its, uh, just the way it's been done. I'm, I'm lost, lost for the word, um, in its execution, <laughs> a little bit disappointing in the result of the execution. So we have here IG-11, he appeared in the first episode of The Mandalorian, pretty well received overall, I think, voiced by Taika Waititi, um, we have a great image there by Gregory Titus there on the front of the box, IG-11. On the back, we have a little bio that says, one of, one of a series of dangerous assassin droids largely, largely outlawed in the galaxy, IG-11 is a hired gun program to follow Bounty Hunter's Guild protocols to the letter. As we saw in the episode, <laughs> he was uh, very, very much regimented by his programming. Now, for the most part, this figure is a complete repack of IG-88. So for a bit of repainting and a different belt or different bandolier over the, over the torso there of the figure, as you can see. But the rest of it, straight up IG-88 repack. Um, there are enough different things with IG-11. They could have done some retooling. They could have made this figure absolutely ace. Um, First of all, I think we all know the IG-88 is, uh, the scale has been off of the IG-88 figures for a long time. He is quite a lot bigger than some of these characters. Um, so if we stand him next to Wedge, for example, he's really not that much bigger. He should be, you know, up there somewhere. The IG droids are meant to be tall and imposing, um, but never mind. Again, the paint apps do sort of give this a little bit of a nice touch. There's some bronzes up around the shoulders. Some more gold, goldy bronze sort of hints throughout. It comes with the same, same blaster rifles. It comes with this sort of pulse cannon, Imperial pulse cannon, and standard E11. They both peg into the hands the same way, so each of the blasters has a little peg hole underneath that slots on like that. So a detail that we were very much getting a good look at in the series, in the episode that he appeared in, was that IG-11 actually does have more than just these sort of two, two sort of pincers. Uh, he had more fingers, had more, you know, dexterity to those hands. So that would have been cool to see. Uh, the chest here, which is just an articulated thing. Didn't get that sort of socket that opens up with his little self-destruct bomb in there. That would have been a cool feature. And also his helmet. Oh, his head. <laughs> helmet. His head had slightly more of a dome to it than IG-88's. It was very much just a bullet head by the bullet tip by the, by the looks of it here. Um, whereas if we take a quick look at the artwork again here you can see he's got a very refined sort of dome shape to the top so there is that but it is I'm, I'm very thankful to have this have this character in my collection um, there is another holster in the back so you could put that put that rifle there or vice versa doesn't really matter. I do like the uh, bits on the back of the bandolier there. I assume there's some kind of bomb or explosive detonator, yada yada yada. But it was really cool just to see an IG, an IG droid in action, like you know, arms twisting out and around. You know, he's all over the place, and you know, he's got multiple sort of eyes and, and, you know, visual sensors on his head that he can look every way in which else and, you know, spin around and, and shoot and stuff like that. 
just the way he moved was was brilliant really well done i was so thrilled to see him i need to sit down and watch that episode again just to have another look at ig11 in action well like i said despite despite the uh inaccuracies i'm i am happy to have ig11 in my collection looks great on the mando shelf that is going pretty strong actually i'm looking forward to adding some more characters to that as time goes on so we'll take a look at his articulation. Uh, there are some swivels in the head. I think there's another bit that moves in there. I can't remember. Swivel shoulders, a hinge joint there. Swivels, there's elbow joints. There's swivels everywhere. There's a upper torso joint there, as you can see in the chest. And that swivels as well. Uh, this arm as well, this sort of shoulder, sort of socket moves around. There's our hips, upper thighs, a double joint in the knee, which I can't, I can't get that other one to move at the second, but it does happen and ankle twist and pivot so I've got that one to fold up there we go so there you have an IG11 Best Buy exclusive in the USA go and grab it and uh, I doubt we'll see another version of this character anytime soon so Go and grab it while you can. It's not a terrible addition at all. Till my next video, may the force be with you.